Hey everybody, how's it going there? Just gonna kind of reiterate and go back over another video that I had done about increasing headroom with a subs on an aux type system. Um, I'm just gonna kind of show it in a more real world scenario um, instead of in a, a DAW type setup. But uh, in either case, we've got our sub here connected. It's got a crossover setting of 120 hertz, and you can see our resultant input level from what we're sending it now. What we're going to do is apply some out of band EQ, um, one at 30 hertz and the other at 140 hertz. And you'll see that we save uh, roughly six, a solid 6 dB, a little over that really. Um, these divisions here on this side are 6.66 dB per division. And then the ones on the right hand side there for the output are uh, 5 dB per division. So we'll turn the EQ back off. And you see, we'll see in about whatever minus 40, I guess it is. And then, you know, after it drops back down, 6.66, so roughly 7 dB, six solid 6 dB. We'll just call it 6 dB because that's what it's going to be. All right. So that's just with this here. Um, what's the point of this, you ask? Well, you know, if you got a powered sub and this is the only one you have, and you're, you know, clipping the input or the output. Um, and you need to get a little bit more headroom out of it so you can you know, either create a safety margin or maybe get a couple few more dB of output. That is one way of doing it. And it's not too tricky. Just a basic you know, low pass, high pass filter, one set at 30 and another at 140. Um, you can adjust it however you need to. Um, it doesn't really change the sound of the sub much, uh, not significantly anyway, and you gain some usable headroom back. So. Let's go to this now. This is the uh, Smart 6 running here, and it's just showing you know what's going on. This is zero EQ applied at all, so both of the signals are the same, obviously. So what we're gonna do is apply a crossover filter, and you'll kind of see that shift here in just a second. There it goes. All right, so obviously we saved some headroom. Makes sense because all this information here no longer exists. So then the question is, is well, is will the you know out of band EQ still produce the same kind of results here? Um, the answer is yes. So this is with no EQ applied, and this is with some EQ applied. So you can kind of see that it kind of centers around minus 24 dB with the EQ on, and then when we turn the EQ off, it kind of centers more around minus eh, roughly minus 18 dB. Do the math on that, it's about 6 dB, 5, 6 dB solid of increased headroom just by doing that alone. Now there is a phase shift that does come along with this. Some people kind of go, oh, well, you know, what is that going to do to me? I am not going to try to align all this crap. We're not here to do that. We're just going to show you what's going on. This is the phase shift of just the crossovers, or crossover slope, I should say. Um, now granted, it's only on one half, so it, it, it's just showing that you what the resultant phase shift is. And then this is with the EQ applied. So it shifts it for sure, as you would expect, but it's not the end of the world. You can align things, you can make that work. Um, the shift that you see down here is a result of the, uh, the high pass filter. Um, and then of course the, the low pass filter on the other side is um, you know, causing this side to shift a bit. But it's not the end of the world, it can be dealt with. Um, so yes, there is a phase shift, but you're not going to die. It's not going to kill you. Um, you can kind of see there kind of what goes on. So let's turn the EQ back off and it'll boom. So the magnitude response is still the same. So there is a, there is a change, but you know, again, it's not the end of the world. And then you can see here how it kind of changes there. Um, doesn't really change the peak very much, you know, the, the peak kind of stays the same. These ones do overlap, it's like a 6 dB, so you know, it's set at 140, but they kind of, they do cross over the top there. But, um, just some food for thought, you know, it's something to think about. Obviously, not everybody in this, you know, is going to need this kind of, this isn't something you have to do. It's just if you're running out of headroom and you need to get a little bit more, Using this little EQ trick is a way to do it. Obviously, if you're doing it, you're kind of negating some other things, you know, like the phase is probably going to shift on you. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to kill you. Um, 
let's just see what that phase alone looks like. So this is with the crossover turned off, and then it's just the you know out of band EQ. Um, so that's that's what it does. You know, it shifts it down. This information is gone now. Keep in mind and then it shifts it up. So, you know, there is a center point there where it will line back up. It's again, like I say, it's not the end of the world. So anyway, food for thought. Hope everybody's doing well and take care.